So Flutter has announced Flutter Web is stable. However, there are some mixed reaction to it. Some are really happy and excited for Flutter Web, while others are questioning the stability of Flutter Web itself. This can be seen in the Reddit forum from the Reddit post. Therefore, I'm going to explain what has transpired from the inception of Flutter Web to its current state. So it all started in Flutter Live 2018, when Team Sniff, the product manager for Flutter, pulled the post credit scene kind of thing after the movies and announced Flutter for Web, which was nicknamed Hummingbird. And it's a port of Flutter that runs on the modern standards-based web. which is a great name to the word Flutter. People were surprised and shocked on the news, including myself. I remember the day, man. And on the day itself, Yegor Jumonov, uh, apologies if I mispronounce your name, a Flutter engineer released an article about the process on making Flutter for web into a reality. The story was the Flutter team had worked on three prototypes to test out which is the most feasible to get Flutter to the web browsers. So the first approach was to have just widgets. This means that they have to build a set of core layout widgets as a foundation for building custom widgets. So for example, like a base widgets for buttons. For the layout and positioning, it relied on the flex box, grid layout, and the browser scrolling. The second prototype was to have widgets at custom layout. This included the Flutter layout system and mapped it to render the objects directly to the HTML elements. And then lastly, creating a Flutter web engine. So this retained all the layers above the Dart UI library and provided a Dart UI implementation that runs on the browser. So which option do you think that the Flutter team made? Well, you are right. I don't know what's your answer, but they decided to create the Flutter web engine. So the answer of Flutter is to have portability across all of the platforms, whether it is on a mobile or whether it's on embedded or even on Linux. Moreover, Flutter's core of rendering stuff is like painting on a canvas to create an image rather than putting all the blocks to build the image. Therefore, having the prototype one or two, if you were to remember, which is to create widgets, a core layout, and then in terms of layout to use CSS, it does not have the portability that you will enjoy when you're building for mobile apps. Therefore, having the web engine makes a lot of sense as you're able to paint the canvas using the Flutter rendering engine in a browser. As you might have known or not, Flutter Web is using a combination of HTML, CSS, and Canvas Kit. So for HTML, they use the HTML element. And if you were to look into the source code for any Flutter Web project, you could see the FLT something. That is where the Flutter team actually try to emulate what they have inside the Flutter mobile app, which starts with the scene and then it starts with the opacity and then many more. So for the FLT, it's the same FLT scene and then opacity and such. For CSS, it's not a lot. There's very few things that you see in the CSS because they want to follow the standard of the CSS triggers. And lastly, Canvas Kit. So Canvas Kit, for those who don't know, uses the Skia library that compiles to WebAssembly. So think of it as an efficient way to run graphically stuff like animations and rich interactive stuff. Moreover, this Canvas Kit can be run on most web browsers, which is a huge advantage for the Flutter web engine. And then as you've seen certain Flutter web examples in the World Wide Web, it can run animations and interactivity really, really smoothly. However, how many of us beginner developers are creating websites that's filled with animations and a lot of interactivity? Well, not many, I assume, because I think we want to build a static website first. Therefore, if you were to build a simple hello world in Flutter web, and then if you were to inspect the code, you will see it contains a huge amount of nested HTML elements. So this is because it is using the canvas kit to render everything, 
Even the text for Hello World is not a paragraph element, but a canvas element, which is a true testament of what the Flutter rendering engine for web really is. So if you were to use HTML and CSS, it only use a few lines. And the HTML CSS example is also much more performant due to its simplicity without the Flutter Canvas kit to render it. So just plain old HTML and CSS, and that's about it. So in terms of interactive animation, I think in both HTML, CSS and Flutter for web, I would believe they are almost there, like in terms of performance and in terms of interactivity, I think it's pretty okay. But I have a question. Would you rather have to learn one language or three? So I think we would probably want to learn one language to rule them all. That's where I believe Flutter shines. Having to have the layout, the styling and the logic in one language is an advantage. And that's what Flutter brings. So all in all, Flutter is like a tool. Just like HTML, CSS and JavaScript is also a tool. So think of Flutter, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Its main purpose, for example, is to shine bright like a diamond. So for Flutter, it shines light, but at a focused point, like a laser while HTML, CSS, JavaScript framework is like a torchlight. It also shines light. So these two frameworks, the Flutter framework and the JavaScript web frameworks out there, they have very similar purpose. However, with different use case. Even though after explaining what Flutter is meant for, why is there some people who are still upset about the Flutter for web in the Flutter community. So well, if you were to ask me, what do you think the word web is? I think a lot of us will probably answer websites. And websites main priority in general is to send information to the visitor. Making interactivity animations to the website is usually a second priority. So FYI, if you want to have some animations and interactivity, you can embed a Flutter app in the website. Anyway, the expectations for Flutter for Web to be a general website framework was a bias that we and the Flutter team has contributed. So I understand that the Flutter team wants people to adopt the framework at a large scale. However, I also understand that sometimes what we think is going to happen might not. Happen. Therefore, I have a solution to the Flutter for web disappointment. If you really like how Flutter is as a great framework to build on, then build a web framework using the Flutter layer. Something like what the Flutter team has done in the first few iterations of the prototype. So in reality, there is something similar. There is this library that is called Preact which is an alternative web framework to React. And its library or its engine, it's only three kilobytes. So for this new Flutter web framework that if you guys want to start, maybe you can call it Flutter Lite. So I really hope that someone out there will build a better prototype to what the Flutter for web had done. If no one does anything, I really don't think that Flutter for web will be the web framework you want and expect. So in summary, Flutter Web is just another tool on the web browser. And it might just be a single niche framework for single page application, PWAs, and a web version of your Flutter apps. So that's about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this kind of video, subscribe down below and comment down if you are happy with Flutter Web or not. So stay safe and all the best. Bye-bye.